for joining us. Thank you. And, um, you know, here we are at the Supreme Court. There appears to be a commotion in terms of the accreditation, accreditation, who is allowed to come in and who is not allowed to come in. Many Nigerians have actually, the people who have spoken before now, uh, saying that it ought not to be, that it should be a free place for Nigerians to come in and do, you know, basically expose to the world how justice is given. But it appears it's been guarded and something that uh, it is not right. What's your view? Obviously, it's not right. Um, you know, this started even from the presidential appeal panel uh, when we were going to the call of appeal and there were, you know, basically rationalizing number of people that were allowed in. But over time, they be relaxed and uh, people were able to uh, go in. Today, it's even worse than that. Uh, what we are being told, there are only five people uh, mm -hmm. from my own party being allowed in. Obviously, that is totally unacceptable. And we're going to be here until we're allowed to go in, until we're allowed to go in. Uh, because, uh, like we always say, this country belongs to every single one of us. We are the principal. Even though the lawyers are there, are important, we are the employers of the lawyers. And so we must be fully represented to see, to so look at each other eyeball to eyeball and be sure that justice is eventually going to be done. Uh, for us, um, we need to move away from this whole thing about technicality and about state capture. Allow Nigerian citizens to have their day because we, citizens' power is the single most potent and powerful power in this country. And that's what we must be allowed to be exercised. Now, um, you know, without diving into prejudice here, um, the case is ongoing as we speak. Uh, you know, we've seen uh, uh, Ribadu, Ganduje, uh, Femi Pachaviamela from the side of the, uh, the APC. They're all in there now. Um, you know, what, as a Nigerian now, not as a Labour Party uh, chieftain, what do you expect the judiciary, especially the Supreme Court, to do that will amount to justice, in your view? For me, it's very simple. Follow the law. Follow the Constitution. Follow the Electoral Act. Mm -hmm. And do the needful. The provisions are very clear. You've already interpreted some of the provisions in the past. Be consistent. And don't prevacate. I don't bring in technicality. Look at what will be there for posterity to judge all of us. What would you do that the civilized Nigerians, I don't want to use the word ordinary Nigerians, so that we don't talk okay, people who don't know, people who know would understand that you've been meticulous about propagating the cause of justice. That's what we're asking for. You know, because what the Supreme Court would do in this process would be a game changer in this country. I read an article by a young man who is in school who is saying that they are all waiting to know what the Supreme Court will say. If, for instance, it has been established that there is forgery, would you say it's okay to forge? then the students don't need to be in school anymore. Yeah, you can just go ahead and be forging, and we we'll move on with that. If, you know, you establish that there is not, tell us. But if there is, the consequences are very clear. Let's face those consequences. Justice does not, is blind. Mm -hmm. It doesn't care about who is involved. Mm -hmm. The fact that you may be president or otherwise, or governor is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Whether you're chief of staff or NSA, it's totally irrelevant. Justice is about doing the right thing based on the evidences before you, based on precedences you've given in the past, based on other reasons that you can articulate. There is not just going to be answering from going from answer to the question. You're already biased, you want to push an agenda, and you come back to start looking for who and how to get into that agenda. No, no, no. Supreme Court is the last court of the land, and it's important and the integrity of the process and the judiciary is kept at bay. And it appears to be a, a conflict um, in the Supreme Court where some chief justices, I believe two of them two days ago, recused themselves as well. I mean, some uh, Supreme Court justices. Some Supreme Court justices. So initially they were, ought to be, they were meant to be seven, right? And one 
One of them, the son, is an APC member, and and you know I've seen a statement from Labour Party demanding that that justice should um, recuse herself. Then the other is going to be retiring on the 27th, which is uh, in uh, less than a week's time. So and coupled with the two that recuse themselves. Now, looking at all this, do you, in your considered opinion, think that? These, the judges are afraid of the consequences that may come out of may come out of the judgment that is expected from the Supreme Court here. I've read a lot of you know positions on this issue. Mm. The truth of the matter is that this boils down to courage. Mm. Nothing more than that. They just know the direction. Mm. Everybody in Nigeria will understand the direction. It's, it's that crystal clear. It's about courage. Who is courageous enough to do the right thing? So, obviously, I, I can't speak for those who are recusing themselves. But on one hand, it could be that they can't withstand the pressure. On the other hand, it could be they're not courageous enough. They, they'll just be aside. You guys go finish up yourselves. Mm. As it is, my position is for those who remain on the panel courage to do the needful this country will not change until we are willing to sacrifice for it mm. including paying the super sacrifice mm. even our own lives that's the only time you can change are you ready to sacrifice for the future of this country it is worth sacrificing for mm. we're talking about lives of 200 million people and beyond i am urging the Supreme Court justices be courageous enough and to do dispense the right. justice. Now, uh, before I let you go, you mentioned before that you're expecting the judiciary to, you know, when you talked about forgery, to do the right thing. Can we take a step backwards? When we Nigeria came into democracy, so we had the Senate. Take a step backward. <laughs> <laughs> now that is literally taking a step backward. <laughs> so. Uh, when we when we uh, started the democracy in 1999, we had a a case of certificate forgery. Um, uh, Salusi Mohammed, no, Salusi uh, Ab uh, Abacha, all right? Oh no, Salusi Buhari, who forged certificate, the, the famous Toronto certificate forgery, and he was dealt with without judiciary. We have the case of Evans and where he was dealt with without judiciary. So the question then is, are we given? Too much close and too much to the judiciary. Where is the Nigerian and the you know the Nigerian legislators? Are they complicit in this? Isn't something that can they can step in? Because some are arguing if the judiciary fails, that impeachment should be the next thing to do if we must uh, not allow the nation to sink. My dear brother, circumstances are changing and have changed in Nigeria. Some of us, if you listen to Professor Tommy, you will hear always him talk about state capture. Mm. We have been captured. The only power that is left, if the Supreme Court does the wrong thing, mm. the only power that's left is, is in power. Mm. I am not expecting the legislator or any other thing to happen if the wrong thing is done. But I'm wishing, I'm hoping that we don't get to that citizen's power where we all have to match the streets. Let the Supreme Court do the needful and let's make progress as a country. Rule of law is the single most important index for development. Mm. It is the biggest of the intangibles. That's what divides. If I need to go into business with you and I feel that if I part my money, you may not part the goods uh, with me. Or oh, there are constant, or there are issues, conflicts, mm -hmm. and we are all going to head to Nigerian courts, mm -hmm. and we have lost confidence in the courts. That business can happen. Yes. Do the implication, everything from the, the, from the GDP to the jobs, all of that will not be created, and that's why today Naira is at one thousand one hundred and beyond. It might even be worse than Zimbabwe's case, because confidence is eroding. Until we correct this, and the only way you can deal with it is rule of law. Mm -hmm. So I am appealing to the Supreme Court justices: do the needful, without caring who is or is God. God. 
let's just make sure we do the right thing because the whole world is watching nigerians are watching and i can't i don't know how to beg further because i know the implication i don't want this country to go the like the way of somalia and sudan and co it is going to be unfortunate if just a few people whose responsibility it is to do, take us out of this environment un, unable to do so we get ourselves involved in something we can't control anymore it is going to be of dire consequence and the, the best thing for us to do is to keep appealing and urging for them to summon enough courage to do the needful mm. that's all thank you very much thank uh, you uh, Chief God bless you. thank you very much all right. thank you so people, um, you've heard it from him. Uh, his expectation is that the Supreme Court